Today, I want to show you how you can build your very own ChatGPT style doc search. Now, we've been testing this within the Superbase documentation for a while now. So, how can I build my own ChatGPT? Let's have a look. And so, what this does here in the background is create an embedding um, for our search. And then it performs a similarity search with all of the Superbase documentation. Now, to build your own ChatGPT, you can follow the tutorial provided in the Superbase documentation. The tutorial assumes that you have a Next.js project with a collection of MDX files nested inside your pages directory. So that's exactly it. So you have a Next.js page with you know, your docs, bunch of MDX files, you want to um, index them, uh, basically generate embeddings for them. Um, okay, the easiest way to do this is to use our OpenAI Doc Search Starter. Um, you can actually deploy this straight away to Vercel. Um, it uses the Vercel integration we have to set up the database schema. Uh, but today I actually want to go a bit more step by step and kind of look at um, what is happening in here. Um, let's have a quick look at the technical details. So building your own custom ChatGPT involves kind of four steps. So at build time, um, anytime you know we change sort of our um, pages, our documentation, we want to pre-process our knowledge base. So that's our MDX files in our pages folder. Um, and then we will um, send all this chunk it up, um, all the content in our MDX files, send it to OpenAI to generate embeddings, which is um, just a long list of vectors where we can then do similarity search. Um, and here we're using PG vector in um, Postgres, which is a great open source, um, great open source extension to perform, to do it exactly that vector similarity search. Now, um, then at runtime, so when a user is ask, actually asking a question, um, we then want to uh, create an embedding for that specific question. Um, we then perform the vector similarity search between the question and the content that we have in our database as embeddings. Uh, we select the most appropriate content as you know context, and then we inject that context into uh, our Open API. Um, uh, sorry, into an Open AI GPT three text completion prompt, and we stream the response back to the client. And then that's how we can get kind of our own sort of Chat GPT style experience. Okay, so let's actually go ahead um, and step through this. So let's do the git clone of our Superbase community, Next.js OpenAI doc search starter. Um, once we have that, we can step into it, OpenAI doc search, and let's open it up. I like to use um, VS Code. Um, we have our readme here. Now, the way I like to develop is with um, locally with the Superbase CLI. So when you're using um, Docker, I'm, I'm using um, Docker desktop here. Uh, what you can do is, so here we can see we have kind of all our Superbase related configuration for um, running our stack locally. Uh, we also have our migrations. So this is actually what is um, needed. So if you deploy to um, Vercel with the button, then what happens in the background is exactly that we spin up, um, that we run these uh, migrations on your database to set up um, the tables that we need. And then here, additionally, we have um, a c.sql, which actually takes um, here the embeddings. You can see these are um, the embeddings for all of our content. And that is our content here in our docs. So right now, that, that is not a lot. It's just kind of this um, this here. So some information about embeddings, some information about um, PG vector. 
and we store that in the database. So what we can do now is we can say superbase start um, to start up our local um, development stack. And what we will do is we will run these migrations um, to make our app fully runnable right away. And then once we run the migrations, we um, seed the data. Um, so that means that we don't actually need to run um, the, the build step. Uh, so you can see that here. So the build step is actually what runs our embeddings. Um, so here it runs our generate embeddings um, script. And then what we can do is uh, we don't actually need that. So we can open up our studio. We have our default project here and we can see we now have our pages. So docs slash open AI embeddings. Um, we have a checksum for the pages as well to make sure we don't um, unnecessarily, you know, regenerate the embeddings if the content hasn't changed. Um, and then here we have the different um, page sections um, with the actual embedding, which is our um, PG vector uh, vector. And so now what we can do is we can say PNPM run dev. Uh, if you clone the repository for the first time, you will likely need to run uh, PNPM install. So PNPM I. Um, but I've already done that. Okay. And so now we're up here at localhost 3000. We can see this and we can now ask a question. What is PG vector? Uh, and so at this point, we're actually um, going to our edge function. So maybe we can open this up and look at uh, so PG vector is a Postgres extension that provides a data type for storing vector data. Very good. That's nice. What are embeddings? And so now we can see um, we are sending here our payload. What are embeddings? So that's a query. We're sending this to um, to our uh, um, here uh, edge function. So localhost API vector search is our Vercel edge function. And then we're getting here, you can see these are server sent events. Um, so those are coming back from um, the open AI uh, API directly, actually. And then this is how we stream this. So embeddings are pre trained language models used for natural yada yada. yada. Um, yeah, so let's actually look quickly at uh, our pages API. So this is our um, edge function. So we have our config edge. Uh, and then what we need is we need our open API key. So you need to set that up in um, a local here dot um, file, you need your next public superbase URL. So if you're running locally, you can run superbase status. Uh, and here you can get your API URL. So that would be your public superbase URL. And then your superbase service role key. Um, obviously, never share that. It is um, a secret key. Uh, but here in test mode, we can um, we can share that. That's fine. But you know, not from from your live superbase project. Okay, so that's it. You know, it's it's working out of the box. Uh, it's working right away as long as we have our open API key. Um, sorry, open AI key. Uh, and now let's actually see how we can get this um, into Superbase, you know, maybe without using the um, Vercel integration. So I'm going to create a new project. I call it Next.js chat GPT demo. I recommend you use some sort of um, password manager to storage. Um, select your region. I'm just going to go um, East US, uh, US East, and create the new project. So now we get our new project. And as you can see, we don't have our uh, tables here. So what we can do is actually we can use our local migrations and we can push them up. Um, to our remote project using the Superbase CLI. 
So in the first step, we will need to say superbase link, and we need to provide our project ref. And our project um, ref is always here in the URL. So project slash, that's our project ref. You get your database password, paste it in. And so Superbase link is now finished. And so what we can do now is we can say Superbase DB push um, to push up our local migration to um, our Superbase remote database. And so now we can see here we have our knots page and our knots page section. Um, but what you can see is that like pushing up um, the schema, uh, it doesn't populate the seed data, which, you know, obviously we're having our seed data locally and um, we don't want to automatically push that. You know, maybe that's just some, some sort of test data um, or what have you. So what we can do now is we um, take our live um, project URL as well as our service role key and we set that in our um, environment uh, .env file. So I've done that just now. So I set um, my API uh, settings to in my um, .env file. So these are exactly the variables I set uh, and my open uh, AI key, I need that as well. And so what I can do now is I can say pp npm uh, build. And so the build step will actually run the embeddings um, first. And so we can now see, because we don't have to check some in there, um, we're actually adding the two pages. But so now we've got build our page. And so we've run, you know, obviously we could have done pnpm uh, run embeddings uh, instead as well, uh, if we didn't want the, um, the, the build step, but so just to show you that when you deploy this to Vercel uh, later on, um, it will run the embeddings uh, any time that Vercel deploys any changes to your site. Um, now, in this case, it didn't actually make any API requests to um, OpenAI because we checked the checksum and the pages haven't changed. And so now if we go back into our database, we can now see um, we have our content uh, in here, our docs, open AI embeddings, um, our knots uh, page section. And so if we now, you know, deploy this to Vercel, which is so easy to do, so I'm not gonna, gonna show you this here, um, but then we can look at the vector search uh, method, what's happening in there. Um, so we're basically uh, doing this point here, we're creating our Superbase client, um, sanitizing the query, we're checking uh, with OpenAI that there's, you know, nothing bad in this um, query in this question from the user. And then we're generating the embedding from um, the query from the sanitized query. Uh, and then now we're performing um, this Superbase client match page sections RPC. So this is a remote procedure call. Um, and if you look in your SQL here, so this is exactly what is performing the embedding similarity search. Um, so we're taking our um, embedding vector. Uh, I don't actually know exactly all the details here. There's a nice blog post um, on the details of kind of how this how this works. So if you go Superbase um, block embeddings, uh, yeah, you probably find this uh, here. Greg, Greg knows all the stuff. Um, so definitely do read that blog post if you're interested. But the nice thing is with these templates. You can just use it and it works and it's magic. Um, yeah, so our RPC um, function uh, is called here. We get our um, page section. So these are the page sections that are most relevant 
to the user's um, question, user's query. Uh, and then what we're doing is we're assembling our prompt here. So we're saying you're very enthusiastic, super-based re representatives, loves to help um, people. Basically here, if there's any nothing found relevant, then just say, sorry, I don't know how to help with that. Uh, and then very important, um, that information output it in markdown format, so that way we can render it um, properly uh, in our page right away. And then we're putting our sections, so these are our relevant page sections as context into the prompt. Um, and then our question is our sanitize query, answer as markdown, including related code snippets. Lovely. Um, and then we're doing our um, GPT-3 completion request here, um, doing that. And so as we then get this back, as, um, as long as the response is okay, um, response is okay, we then basically uh, return this server event stream, which then on the client side, we stream um, to, to show to the user the answer. Uh, and that's pretty much all the magic. We can look at um, the search dialogue component here. Um, we're using some service and events um, hook that is basically, uh, yeah, it's just a bunch of React stuff, reactivity in here. And then here we're just doing the service and events to our edge function and basically just uh, having an event listener here uh, that then basically just sets the answer Yada, yada, yada. Yeah, it's just a bunch of reactive stuff. Um, but that's that's pretty much it. So we can then pnpm start um, since we got our application built now. And um, we can say, is Superbase a good choice for building AI apps? Let's see, I didn't actually, didn't actually uh, check on that. Ah, oh, sorry, I don't know how to help with that. <laughs> um, well, I can tell you, yes, it is It is a good choice. Um, the uh, open source ecosystem is uh, developing very rapidly. And yeah, we got some templates for you to help with, with that. So thanks for tuning in and um, make sure if uh, you're interested in building with Dino Fresh instead of Next.js, uh, we'll also have a video for that. So stay tuned and see you next time.